go and make more of those. Because that would be saving me, like, so much trouble in Azure Tower, getting those. Uh, that's the grind. Uh, just going to check around here. You never know. Could be treasure chests, could be lots of things in here. Feels very final area. Ooh, gargoyles. Spectacle. Angels? Grim. Wait a second. Hmm. Did you break the seals, Django? The four towers are gone. The castle's ascent has ceased. And the queen is rather angry. The energy that did in the queen's four servants should deliver the castle to the moon. But I did not give the dark castle all of that power. I am neither human nor immortal. I am the chosen one of the dark, the will of the galaxy, the dark child. I shall not bend to the will of the queen or any other. The time to settle this is near. Thanks to you, my power has reached its limit. Give it everything you have, Django. <laughs> Give it everything I got. Huh, oh, well that's that's interesting because I know something about you. Super fast. Which means... Oh, this is cool as heck. Stop laughing! <sighs> Shut up, man. I'll kill you, bro. This man's zooming in? You zooming in, Mr. Bots?
very reminiscent of uh, the duel between Ocelot. What? Jerk. How? How could this be? Imbued with dark matter, wielding the power of the four elements and of the sun into such a sniveling mama's boy as you. And I'm, am I done for? No, never. Soon I will have no need to rely on borrowed power. Show your power, gun to hell. Show them their fate. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Let's go, 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 Django. Light and dark. It comes down to this. Be afraid, son. Oh, yeah? Be afraid, son. Ah, you can... <laughs> Jerk. This is a really cool fight. Whoa, geez. Uh. Oh, I know what I have to do.
What's he? Oh, it absorbs everything. Ow. This again. This is a very high octane match. I love it. Sabata, where are you? Gotcha. <laughs> I'm done for, Jango. I'm too weak to hate you. Moonlight holds two conflicting powers. Lunacy and mercy. Moonchild blood is a double-edged sword. Your plans were too ambitious. O oh, great will of the galaxy. Save Moon Beauty. Save our mother. It's in your hands. They're brothers. Big reveal. Hmm. Looks like I'm back to my usual self. And about time. Solar Boy, you've done well for yourself. I must say, you're a chip off the old block, Django. Hmm, looks like I should explain. I am the terrestrial embodiment of soul. I'm not a physical being. When Carmilla turned me into a rock in Soul City, Sabata took control of my consciousness. Sabata's moonchild blood made that possible. Sabata's mother, your mother, is Mani. The Moon Beauty. All that Mani wanted was to live a quiet life. To live and die like any other person. That is the reason why she couldn't reveal her true identity. Even to you, her own son. The sole surviving Moon Child. 
her kin driven to the brink of extinction by the immortals, the moon reflects sunlight. That light, moonlight, gives the immortals their power. And that's what the Queen of Immortals wants. To use Moon Beauty's ability to use solar energy and cover the Earth's surface with dark matter. To make the Earth itself undead. We must stop her. Let's go, Django. Sabata, my older twin brother. So when we were babies, he was stolen away. That's, But it sounds like Django grew up with his mother. Oh, I could have used that, but nah. That's not for... That's not for... That was a great fight. That was fun. I forgot how good that fight was. That more than makes up for a lot of wasted time today. Feeling very final error. Oh, both banks. Three bombs. A few golden eggs for a few golden apples for the road, huh? Oh, it was a heal fruit. Okay. Oh, is that the moon in the background? The final staircase. Right. The Queen of Immortals. Hell. I've been expecting you. So, Sabata is down. To make a dark child from the flesh of the sun and the moon, he was a reckless experiment. Hell. Give us Moon Beauty. Give us Mani. Don't be silly. She like all moon children, was born immortal. What's wrong with taking back the sister who was stolen from me? Ooh. I see. You got this far knowing nothing? You merely dance as soul pulls your strings to the point that you would knock down your own kin? Your brother? Think about it. All the undead you've defeated, who were they? Did you really have to defeat them? For us, the will of the galaxy is absolute. The will of the galaxy is clear. It rejects the human ambition to spread across the universe. We immortals cannot die. We have no offspring, so our numbers do not rise. The undead that we immortals create are free from the cycle of life and death. They have a stationary, pure existence. When species cease to evolve, they are no longer a threat to the universe. You see, my work is charity. All species will be allowed to exist only as the undead. Nonsense! How can you live without living? Laughter, sorrow, anger, happiness, sadness. Even when it causes pain, to live is something wonderful. I don't believe your theory. Our son loves all life. Even what you say, even it is the will of the galaxy. The sun lights the earth, lights up all life, 
and brightens humans' hearts. It's not energy, it's a force, an indescribable force. The sun is not just a star in the galaxy. It is a pattern. It is a... A pain? A pain to life. Our song of thanksgiving. The sun would resist the galaxy. How foolish. Give your life and survive, or live only to perish. Make your choice. Let's go, Django. The sun will rise tomorrow. Versus Aunt Hell. Listen, Django. You can't beat the queen with the solar gun alone. Use the pile driver to amplify the solar energy and burn the dark matter. I'll summon four generators. In the meantime, try to hold her off. Stop! Stop healing! Oh! Oh, I see. I gotta help. I gotta help Otenko. Master Otenko. Summon each pile driver. While holding her off. Wow, she's got all the elements backing her. Ah. That's my aunt for you. I guess the family, I guess it's just in the family to be wielders of all elements. Let's see, we can pull this win off. Stop laughing, Auntie. Stop it, Auntie. Stop this right now. Countdown. Stop it. Stop that right now, Auntie. Ah. Ah. Listen up, Django. Use your solar gun to fire the solar energy amplified by the four generators. Stand in the middle of the pile driver and hold down the B button to collect solar energy. When the energy spheres are ready, release the B button to set off the energy sphere attack. Wild Bunch.
hold the B button? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Where am I supposed to stand? Where am I supposed to... I think... I was not completely clear about... My aunt. Family ties. So nettled. I wonder if we're supposed to not kill anybody in the game because all the box are people. But what about Azure Sky Tower? Listen, Django. All right, now I, I I understand this time. Gotta charge up, charge up, charge up, charge up, charge up. Wild bunch. How do I do it? He's got so much visual effects going on. She's kind of like the Count in a way. She's very similar to the Count. Fun fact, uh, the Count and Hell were lovers. Makes you wonder, like, if love can't happen between two people, like, why is she so, like, I don't know. I guess she thought Manny didn't want the life that she ran away to. It's just like family like that to like misunderstand. Do some more damage, auntie. Oh, that's a perfect position. We're all charging. A hundred seconds. It's basically time and skill management in an action RPG. I gotta I gotta plan it to the letter so that she's too busy charging. And Master Otenko's too busy getting the drivers ready. Ooh. 
Ready. Listen up, Django. Use your solar gun to fire the solar energy amplified by four generators. Stand in the middle of the pile driver and hold down the B button to collect solar energy. When the energy spheres are ready, release the B button. Set off the energy. Wild bunch. Oh, okay. You fool, Django. You are just a lowly human boy. My sister, your mother, Moon Beauty, is already one of us. The power of the Moon Children, which so long eluded me, is now in my grasp. Nothing can stop me. Behold, the one who rules this star. Well, what are you waiting for, Django? What are you waiting for, Django? Sabata! We have Moonchild blood inside us, too. If we work together, we can overcome each other's weaknesses. We must defeat the queen and save our mother. You live yet? What is this? Brotherly love? Love? Did you say love? Dark matter is the power of hatred. I hate it, and I hate you. Gundel soul and Gundel hell. The Wild West meets the Wild East. Come on, Django. Oh, that was pretty cool. With the power of my big brother. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. We have to, like, null these hands. I see. He's still hurt from our fight. Dark Lunar Shot! I mean, you can't underestimate Django. We did make it all the way here. Time to defy the will of the galaxy. If you just stop doing the stupid stuff, Anty, we'd stop hitting you. I was like, are we are we a sol are we out of solar nuts? Now Can't believe I missed.
Oh, is that what I look like? Do I like do ellipses and crouch down when I'm in my menu? Is that what's happening? I can imagine that. That's interesting. She's getting, she's getting more aggressive. Stop. This is so cool. Why does Sabata get so many voice lines? Because you have the biggest one of the game. Wild West meets Wild East. What does that even mean? Does that mean does that mean Sabata was raised in a more Japanese esque environment? As opposed to Mani and Dang it. I let him take a big old bite out of my brother. <clears throat> he didn't fail to get to save me, though. Just... Gotcha, hell. Is... Is this the will of the galaxy? It can't be. How? Why? Will is the power which strives to live. The power inside all living things. You did not lose to the sun. You lost to the will of all who yearn to live. Combined, their will is the power behind. Thank you, children. My betrayal led to despair and madness. But now, at last, those wounds are healed. Your father and the days we had together. I do not regret any of it. And the happiness you children brought me. Our bodies may perish. But our spirits will be here to protect you, no matter what. May the light of the moon illuminate your path. Thank you, Django. Thank you, Sabata. That's the opposite saying of what... You did well, Solar Boy. My job here is done. But it looks like I overextended myself. I took in too much dark matter. Soon I won't be able to maintain this presence. Thank you. I had so much fun traveling with you. Farewell, my friend, Django. May the sun be with you. Django, we have to do something.
Django. Perhaps this is how it was meant to be. But any fate can be overcome. That's what you boys taught me, you see. I may pass, but the sun will rise. The sun will rise tomorrow. May the sun be your friend. I got the bad ending, didn't I? Django, Amy Kudo, Master Otenko Count, Guy Perryman, Sabata, Kimberly Forsyth, yeah, Lita, Carmilla, Bianca Allen, Hell, Donna Burke, Must Spell, Silvery White Knight, Walter Roberts. Original story and game design, Hideo Kojima. Planning, Shinta Nojiri. Graphic scenario, Ikuya Nakumura. Script unit, Shintai Nojiri Masara Yara. Script unit, Takafune Otani, Masatoshi Uehara. Program unit, Masafumi Okuda, Yuda Kunibe. Program unit, Satoru Kobayashi and Yuji Takahashi. Technical supervisors, Kazunubo Uehara, Kuneo Takabe. Design unit, Ikuzumo Nakamura, Toru Kawaki, and Junatoro Saitaro. Saito. Design unit, Hitomi Tarada, Kenji Okamura, Hoshi... Ah, they're going too fast. There's a lot of people who worked on this game. For a series that had four entries that nobody really cared about, like, this is incredible for the amount of people that worked on it. This game is like an achievement in and of itself of trying to combine the elements of playing outside, giving children the idea that their video games can also be a source of good living like you don't have to be inside all the time maybe going for a walk i don't think it was best to try and do the whole forging the entire idea around being outside and in the sun for the game but the honest truth is is i'm glad this game exists because it stands as a testament about what is possible like literally sunlight powers this game this game is legitimately a very cool experience that you can't get anywhere else pretty good rank I got the dark one dark gun lens and I got the dark emblem and I got one flash solar gun grenade oh yeah this thing I wonder if this website is even still up I'm gonna take a clip I'm gonna take a pic Probably isn't, but it's been a while since I beat Boktai. Now we got ourselves a little thing here. So Hell was Mani's sister. We don't they don't tell you how old Django or Sabata is, but in the few, in the later games it's re, like it's very heavily implied that so Sabata was like at least th two to th like 1 to 3 to 5 years older than Django. Because uh, what's this? Because it's obvious that Sabata had a very like he understood a lot. But then he was also trained by hell. Action hard. Puzzles recommended. Unlocked hard rank.
All right. Yeah, we were in Paris. Who was in Paris? Quickly. <laughs> Istrakhan, the city of death. The city of death, Istrakhan. Since time immemorial, this dark city has been ruled by a race known as the Immortals. But now, at last, the sun is rising. You've come at last. The heir to the solar gun, Gundel Soul, the new vampire hunter. My name is Otenko, messenger of the sun. Together, we will bring light back to this world. In the castle ahead is the Vampire Lord. Let's go, Solar Boy. So we're back at it again. Let's see now. Ah, but we got all the good stuff. Apparently, Luna is a really good boss weapon. Should beat him up with it. Lens of darkness, dark gun parts. Refill up the guns. So this is going to be the hard mode run. I'm not sure how much or how little I should show. I'm probably going to try and put all of this into like its own run. That will maybe, I'm not sure when it'll air. I'm trying to figure out, trying to think of a good time that it would be best to air it. Not, I don't think it would be worth it to wait. The month isn't, isn't done yet. You're running away? You'll never live up to your father like that. Yeah. That's not what we're here for. Let's let's do Fog Castle. Open up the game. Fog Castle, October eighth, four forty-two p.m. Time till sunset, one hour and thirty-six minutes. Oh. Hi. Hi, Proud. Proud Slime Dad. Yeah, I'm playing it on an emulator for my PC. Uh, RetroArch. Here we'll do Watch. This is the Pile Driver. The Vampire Lord, leader of the race of immortal vampires. The wounds your father gave him have not healed. This is our only chance. Even you can do it if you act now. Listen, Solar Boy. Bring him and his coffin back here. We will purify him with sunlight and this pile driver. You need sunlight to start the pile driver. See the gauge with the sun mark in the lower right corner? It shows the level of sunlight striking the solar sensor. It's called the solar gauge. You can't use the pile driver when the sunlight level is zero. I mean, we've done all this before. We've been we've been here again. We're back at it again. Except we have the best gun in the game now. Well, no, we don't because we don't have Dragoon yet. I know everyone's asking me, like, what am I playing this on? And it's like, yeah, definitely emulator. This would probably be the best way to play it. Because more often than not, with Boktai, most carts, the solar battery is burnt out. But you can buy a replacement. I'm not sure if anyone's still doing fixes for Boktai cartridges. 
because the real experience is going outside with the game and using the solar sensor to control how up and down the gauge goes. But if I was to say, if you can't get that experience or if you feel more comfortable owning the game and then being able to play the ROM, I would say this is probably the like the second best experience that you could possibly get. And it feels good. I'm playing with an 8-bit do controller on RetroArch, latest build. Solar Boy, let's go over the solar gun, Del Sol, one more time. Press the B button with the fighter frame equipped to fire a solar shot. Use the shot temporarily to stun the undead. Attacks from behind are the most effective. But if the energy in your solar battery, see the gun gauge, in the lower right corner runs out, you won't be able to fire your solar gun. Recharge by letting the sunlight strike the sensor. May the sun be with you. Music music's so good. Such a good Halloween game. And I'm not, like, into Halloween like other people are, but you can't fight fate sometimes. Ah, <laughs> sunlight. Wait, Solar Boy. Stand in front of this panel and press the A button. The panel on this wall is an Otanko panel. Press the A button when the mark is flashing to summon me. Don't be afraid to ask for advice. My knowledge might come in handy. It always does, Master Otanko. It always does. Whoa, geez. Chlorophyllune. <laughs> oh, that's right. I shouldn't be killing the people. I shouldn't be killing the people. That's a solar station. It automatically stores solar energy collected by your solar sensor. You can transfer energy to your gun whenever you need one, even at night. The number above the solar station shows how much energy is left. Hold the A button when in front of the station to transfer energy. Use it wisely now. I'm not supposed to kill the box. Wait. That's a ghoul, a buck. This type of undead serves the immortals. Bulks are weak, but don't let them spot you. Try to avoid confrontation. Hide in the shadows or run past when they're not looking. When a bulk spots you, he attacks with chlorophyllin, a dark substance that turns people into bulks if they don't have the blessings of the sun and moon children. If you get chlorophyllin on you, it will start to deplete your life. Shake that stuff off as quickly as you can. You can also sterilize it with your gun, okay? So this is hard mode. See how there's so many blocks in the ca in the castle now this time? So what I'm supposed to actually do is I'm supposed to knock over there and let them all come over here and touch none of them. Annoying? Tedious? Yes. But the real truth is you're not supposed to kill anybody because all these people are people. They're all people. Oh man. Ah, uh, discovered. Gosh dang it. 
If you go outside and your solar gauge shows a level greater than zero, your battery will charge up naturally. Or you can perform a solar charge for a quick refill. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, pretty easy. Except we're on hard mode, so not easy. I wonder what the hard mode... No, it would be worth it to show the whole game again. This, this belongs to the Count. This vampire lord, the Count of ground-soaking blood, was the sworn enemy of your father. Sol uh what Solar Man Django? Do you think you will stream the second game when you finish this one? Oh, absolutely. I'm streaming I'm gonna be hopefully I'll try as many opportunities as I get to upload Boktai and play uh one, two, three, and also Lunar Knights, the the fourth game in the series, for sure. But do not be afraid, my young vampire hunter. That crimson scarf holds the spirit of your father. You are not alone. Oh, they didn't die or they didn't die immediately to my Get out of here. Get 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 get, get out of here. A trap. But he still can't move, it seems. Your gun alone cannot return him to nothingness. You must take the coffin to where the pile driver is outside the castle. Get close to the coffin and press the A button to grab it. Hold down the A button and use the control pad to drag the coffin along. You cannot run or attack while you are dragging the coffin. Be careful. Hey, hey, qu quiet down there. Hey, hey, I said quiet down. I said hush your eyes. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Getting a little too rambunctious in there, my guy. Need to hush up. I wonder if there's a speedrunning of this game. Probably is. There's definitely a speedrunning of the game where you literally pick up a coffin and are timed like a Metal Gear Solid game. There's absolutely... Okay, so what is your walking pattern? How do I get past them? So you're staying in- you're staying in there? Okay, so is that the walk cycle? Oh. Well, I guess my mercy run is over. This <laughs> is... I'm on hard mode. If I wanted to be a pacifist, I should have done that on the regular mode. See, that was also what I should have done. Knock them out. But then you start killing anyway. Like, you can't win. This is the thing about Toby Fox, right? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you're the bad guy because you're the player, right? Because you can't find a way to do things peacefully, you're a bad person. Not that I'm judging anybody. Or Toby for putting that in there. Because, yeah, sometimes sometimes you don't need to do some of the things you think you need to do to get everything. Sometimes 100%ing everything isn't everything. Uh Well This hallway is like nearly impossible like if you can figure out how to get through this hallway without killing anybody Then you're a master of the game. I assume that's like the penultimate I'm supposed to knock people 
See? Like, like he's about to get up. Like, I had no time. Get out the way, spiders. Y'all up in the... Y'all up in the grill and I don't care for it. Yo, hush up, Count. Hush up, what I assume to be is the Count. I said, as if I hadn't just beaten the game. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should head on over to YouTube and check out Retrograde, where uh, the whole upload, the whole playthrough, the whole first normal playthrough of this game with me. And like, favorite, comment, and share, and subscribe. <laughs> All right. Now, set the coffin in the center of the pile driver. Yes, sir. Here we go. Good. Fire a spread to start up the generators that just appeared. Equip the knight and hold the B button to fire a solar spread. Those generators have been blessed by Gaia, the motherland, and the sun spirit, Soul. With the power to amplify solar energy, the pile driver is the only thing we can use to purify the immortals. We're ready. Press the A button over the shining emblem to start the pile driver. Is the sun out? Yeah, it's still out. It's still out by my account. Starting purification. Destroy the vampire with solar piles from the generators. The stronger the sunlight striking the sensor, the stronger the solar piles will be. But the vampire will resist the solar piles. When he does, hit the generators with a spread to boost its power. You can overcome the vampire's resistance. When the vampire's darkness gauge upper right hits zero, we win. Stop the vampire lord. You can do it, solar boy. Certainly is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 no one said anything about that. Well, <laughs> what are you doing there, bud? What? Give your head a shake there, bud. Nobody said that you could use your dark power for any of that, my guy. What, what are you doing? What are you doing over there, my guy? Are you serious right now? I'm like, you're not serious, my guy. Like, okay. <laughs> I like, I like my strategy. Okay. <laughs> Incineration of the Dark Matter, the energy source of the Immortals, is complete. This eliminates all possibility of revival. Good work, Solar Boy. Er, come to think of it, I don't know your name. Django, is it? That's a manly name. So here you... <clears throat> So here you are, Otenko, messenger of the sun. And this must be the new vampire hunter. But I'm afraid you're too late. While you've been busy playing with the decoy, my wounds have healed splendidly. The Count, we've been tricked. I'll teach you a thing or two. When I attacked the city of the sun, San Miguel, and struck my enemy down, I had another objective, yes. The Lunar Maiden, Moon Beauty. She is still alive. Do you dare go after her, Otenko? Moon Beauty? Ha! She's your... In that case, there's still a chance. Hmm? I sense darkness to the north. Let's go, Django. We have to save Moon Beauty. Do not fear, Solar Boy. We have the sun, and the sun will rise tomorrow.
Boktai! The sun is in your hand. Hard mode. Django, I must talk to you about something. It's about the solar gun, Gundel Soul. The solar gun takes in sunlight as its energy. If you continue using it under strong sunlight for too long, it will overheat. Then you won't be able to fire the solar gun. At the bottom right of the screen, if the gun mark becomes an X, there's a sign of trouble. If you keep on using it under strong sunlight, it will overheat. Go into the shade and let the solar gun cool down. After a while, the gun will no longer be overheated. Even when the overheat status has ended, the gun is still very hot. If you use it under strong sunlight, it will soon overheat again. If it repeats overheating, the safety mechanism disables the solar gun. The safety mechanism will not undo itself until the sun sets. Be careful. Once it overheats, continue your adventure in the shade or take a break for a while. Do not be reckless. There is no one to replace you. I'm counting on you, Solar Boy Django. And with that... The adventure begins again. Okay, I think... I think I've done a fair bit today. I'm going to stream tomorrow, obviously. So we'll probably pick it up again tomorrow, get through the first area, see what hard mode of the game looks like. We screwed, I screwed up royally by not looking ahead and figuring out how to get the best ending even on the normal mode for Master Otenko. Although I, although that's basically what happened for me the first time ever. So I was trying to give you guys the legitimate first run experience. So not a lot of people I think have done hard mode. The game is, and I'm pretty sure Azure, uh, Azure Sky Tower is even harder on this mode. But like we already said, doesn't matter. I got all the emblems. Twenty-four silver coins. We only need six more to get to the last. We already have the dark emblem, which means that once we have saved the tree fully, we'll get the soul emblem, and then we'll have all emblems, and then we'll get the lunar emblem, and as long as we have, and when we get if we have all silver, all thirty silver coins, when we get that, we get to level ninety nine on the Azure on the Azure Sky Tower. Bada bing, bada boom. So, look forward to that. Don't know how. I, I doubt that will happen tomorrow. There's a lot. That's a lot. I would have to start streaming like really early to even attempt to get through half of what all of that takes. So this game is alone at least five hours. If you don't try and skip all the cutscenes, I don't know what hard mode brings to the table. So that could be another a year wait, or I might just do like a whole hour long special, like string it all together kind of thing, where I do different sessions and I just kind of put it all together and then upload it for everybody. That might be that might be easier to like manage, especially for like YouTube and like archive and whatever. So yeah. We're almost there with everything. Gundel Soul is... And we also... Like, we even also got... The first part. Let's fire off one of these, huh? Lens of Darkness. Big Brother Sabata's gun. Oh, it charges in the dark... In the sunlight. So he can use sunlight to charge his dark gun? Oh, but you can't fire it with sunlight on. Oh, no, you can't fire it in... You can't fire it in sunlight at all. Oh, you can't fire the gun at all because we need the whole gun del hell to actually work. That gun was so powerful because Sabata could charge it with whatever, with, could charge it with whatever. But I, unlike he, have full solar blood in me, so it doesn't hurt my body to be in the sunlight. Whereas with him, it does. Small cave. I sense darkness. Nothing big, but Django, this is the city of death. 
ends of eras are interwoven here in Istrakan. The undead you defeat can slip through the time fabric and recover. The journey will take us through dungeons like this one. We will have to pass through many undead dungeons. Through many times and many places. Each time we enter an undead dungeon, the traps and devices will be reset and the undead will be back. We must not lose heart, even when surrounded by danger, understood? We'll need this. Alright, let's go. Magic circle, close to the end of the dungeon. So, now that he's done that, most of the introductory stuff, I think, I think we're done for today, guys. New adventure start. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for, so much for coming. Um, like me. Follow me. Uh, visit us at www.retrogradeware.com. Support the merch to get more content support the channel you know all that good stuff likes help comments help subscriptions help everything that promotes the show helps and if you're enjoying like me playing these really obscure games that people don't often talk about or play you know that only makes me want to do it more like i had thanks and i'll see you guys in the next one later